Tonight on NJTV News, the Senate's in session set to tackle bills Christie's already vetoed, and then some. But just how much can they accomplish with Christie out of state? The pilot program preventing homelessness among the disabled, elderly, and chronically unemployed has expired. The Senate leader wants it reinstated permanently, arguing caring for them once they're homeless costs even more. And a father-son tale with a soaring score, a killer cast, a director named De Niro, forget about it. The Bronx Tales coming to the paper mill. Those stories and more next on NJTV News. Major funding for NJTV News provided in part by Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy. Online at BarnabasHealth.org and Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Live from the Agnes Varis NJTV studio at Two Gateway Center in Newark, this is NJTV News with Mary Alice Williams. Hello, thanks for joining us. Take two in Trenton today on a few of the more than 60 bills that died on the governor's desk by pocket veto, among them two gun control measures. But with the governor chasing a higher calling, legislative momentum is sluggish. David Cruz reports. There was a certain casuality in the state house today. Starting times for committee meetings seemed to be merely suggestions, as lawmakers shot the breeze with colleagues like it was the first day of spring semester. This is how it is when the self-proclaimed adult in the room is out of town on his own independent study. Sitting in on the various committee proceedings today, Senate President Steve Sweeney hoping to promote an agenda, knowing full well that the executive branch partner he needs to get anything done is simply not around. You need to make the investments, even with the limited hours you have, you need to put them in places that are going to get you the biggest bang for your buck. And that's what we're hoping to do this year. The Democrats are focusing on poverty. Today, committee meetings on poverty assistance programs and homelessness, but are also promising to revisit their key issues, like gun safety, with Senator Weinberg reintroducing the smart gun bill that got a pocket veto from the governor. We're back again. All this bill does is roll back a gun regulation. It takes away the mandate that when this technology is available, it would be the only kind of gun one could buy in New Jersey. We're rolling that back very simply to say a retailer must offer one for sale. Which would almost certainly draw another veto from the governor. What's the old saying about the definition of insanity? We are doing the best we can. Are you guys the adult in the room right now? <laughs> Well, I, I've always felt I was the adult in the room. I didn't take this to do that, but I might be biased about that. But I think with our Senate president, we have really stepped into a, uh, a breach in terms of government. Is the Senate collectively, the legislature collectively, just kind of waiting to see what happens with the, the, the presidential race? I think there is an, el an element of that, that, um, that we are waiting. All of us are in a waiting mode, but I think we're all taking the steps that we think are right. We can't sit back and, you know, decide is he going to pass something or not pass something. Which is generally on the big desk in this office, which, as we mentioned, sits mostly unoccupied these days, save for an occasional fly-in like the quick visit this past weekend for Blizzard Patrol or the even briefer visit Tuesday to announce a deal on Atlantic City. In the meantime, it's lawmakers over here and Bill Siner over there. Well, they can do that for a while, but sooner or later it gets down to, you have to get down brass tacks and things have to get done and they will get done. So your sense is that the calendar will force everybody to, to get to work? It will force people to get things done. There will be no, no choice. So if you're waiting for solutions on the transportation trust fund or gun control or jobs or pretty much any major issue, you may find yourself waiting well until after all of this stuff is finally gone. At the State House, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.
Relief ahead for hundreds of residents who've paid thousands of dollars for flood insurance because they live in a flood zone that's never actually flooded. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Patterson, where the Passaic River reliably floods, but these homes are a mile away. FEMA drew the flood maps years ago, reportedly based on old drainage issues, so it came as a surprise that annual flood insurance premiums started surging just last year. One resident whose house is in the flood zone but garage is not went from paying nothing to paying seventeen hundred dollars some pay as much as thirty five hundred fema is updating its flood maps it could take a year Next amendum, home to a newly minted federal judge. John Michael Vasquez has worked both as a defense attorney and a federal prosecutor in the state attorney general's office during the Corzine administration and under U.S. Attorney Chris Christie. He's been overwhelmingly confirmed by the U.S. Senate to the Third Circuit Court, District of New Jersey, over the objections of a conservative group that tried to block all of President Obama's judicial nominations. Vasquez's confirmation should start to ease the federal court's crushing caseload caused by so many judicial vacancies. Two other nominees are awaiting confirmation. Finally, Paramus and federal clearance for drone flying classes. Bergen Community College is one of only three in the country to get an FAA exemption to teach drone craft. It already offers courses in drone design and fabrication, but outdoor flights have been verboten. College officials reportedly plan to add four credit flying classes and non-credit flight training for law enforcement, news gatherers, and summer campers right next to the Orchard Hills Golf Course. Imagine. And that's our Garden State Express for Thursday, January 28th. Something up in your town? Tip us off.